Today I am going to present a fascinating interesting topic in chemistry that is NMR. NMR is nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. So if we have to go deeper into NMR spectroscopy, before that we should be knowing why we have to study NMR and what is NMR and how it works. So first is why NMR should be studied. First of all NMR instrument or NMR technique is a non-destructive one. That is if a sample is subjected to NMR spectroscopy we can recover back the sample and recovery is easy and the second one is as we all know MRI which is magnetic resonance imaging. This magnetic resonance imaging purely works on the basis of NMR spectroscopy. See nowadays to detect internal disorder like tumor MRI is used. And the third one is the drugs or the organic molecules which are which we are using in daily life to characterize those molecules. That is to illustrate the structure of organic molecules. Then what is NMR? So what actually NMR is? How it works? Before that what is NMR? NMR is a technique where when an external magnetic field is applied to a proton present in a sample which will align themselves. Alignment is seen and then the radio frequency or the radio waves which is present in the tech, uh, instrument will flip the protons. If the proton is like this, it will flip the proton. This is what actually is NMR. So NMR is a technique where an external field will be applied to a proton present in the sample which will align themselves into two different states. So then how NMR works? So NMR works on the basis of nuclear spin which is denoted by I. So what is nuclear spin is, so all the nuclei or the atoms we can consider it as proton, carbon, the nuclei will be having one nuclear spin. If at all if the nuclear spin of a nuclei is equal to zero, this is called as spin inactive. So spin inactive is nothing but these samples will not show NMR signal, so it is NMR inactive. So if at all, if a nuclei is having I which is not equal to 0, that is nuclear spin will not be equal to 0, such nuclei are called as NMR active, that is these are spin active. So if I give example for NMR active and inactive, the first example for NMR inactive. So this is, this is NMR inactive where the atomic number and the mass number of the nuclei are even. In such cases or in such nuclei, the nuclear spin will be equal to 0. If I want to give example for NMR active nuclei, that is proton. Here the atomic number as well as the mass number will be odd. So such type of nuclei spin will not be equal to 0 such nuclei are NMR active nuclei. Not only mass number and atomic number should be odd, other than this the mass number, one of the mass number or the atomic number, sorry this is atomic number, the atomic number or the mass number should be odd, one of the number should be odd. Then if I take example of the same proton, the spin of this proton nuclei is half. So there, there is one rule that is 2i plus 1 rule. So which are the allowed spin transitions? So for that 
टू इन टू हाफ प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टू सो दिस अलाउड ट्रांजिशन विल बी प्लस हाफ एंड माइनस हाफ प्लस हाफ एंड माइनस हाफ सो द प्रोटोन और द हाइड्रोजन न्यूक्लिय विल गिव प्लस हाफ एंड माइनस हाफ स्पिन सो दीज स्पिन न्यूक्लिय इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी हैविंग इक्वल एनर्जी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द स्पिन न्यूक्लिय in the absence of the external magnetic field will be of equal energy so if i write one of the nuclei like this if this is plus half this will be spinning in clockwise direction and if i take one more spin state that is minus half here the spin state will be in anti clockwise direction so equal number of energy level or equal energy level we can call so if at all if an external magnetic field b not is applied to this spin state which are in equal energy level what happens so these spin state align themselves in the spin states align themselves parallel to the applied magnetic field or anti parallel to the applied magnetic field so the spin states have two different two different energy state one is called as alpha state and one is called as beta state this is when external magnetic field is applied to the nuclear spin of equal energy so now it is in different energy state alpha and beta and it is called as stable state now the difference between the energy of these two state corresponds to radio wave so nmr utilizes or uses low energy radio frequency of electromagnetic radiation thank you